Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this meltdown look. Everything that I'm using today, including the tools, can be found in the meltdown kit by Luchi. If you want to see how it's done, then keep on watching. To start, I'm taking the brush end of the double-sided brush and the green water-activated makeup, and I'm drawing on a dripping pattern across my entire face. I'm also painting on a jawbone and then filling in the chin and the lower jaw with the green. Next I'm going to paint on a quick little spiny neck and I'll be filling that in with the green as well. Then I'm going back to the dripping sections and adding in some more green there because eventually that will all be filled in. Next I'm taking the liner brush and the blue water activated makeup and I'm painting in the cheekbone hollows and thickening up some of the lines. Then I'm going down to the neck and adding in a scribbly blue edge. Here I am taking the purple water activated makeup on the liner brush and I'm filling in and blending into the blue on the cheek hollows and then adding some of that scribble to the neck with the purple as well. Now I am taking the sponge tip end of the double sided brush and I am dipping into the white water activated makeup and I am essentially stamping on teeth by just pressing it onto my upper and lower lip. Then I'm going in with the liner brush and I'm adding some highlights to my neck. Now I'm filling in the remainder of the open space with the green water activated makeup. Remember that the more water you use with water activated paints, the more translucent it will be and the less water you use, the more opaque the color will be. Here I am taking the liner brush and the black water activated makeup and I'm carefully outlining everything and also adding in some cracks and texture as well. And lastly, I'm just adding some fun little cracks to the outside of my eyes to finish off the look. And there it is, the Meltdown Makeup. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.